Well, one of the ways this passionate consumer likes to enjoy a glass of red wine is with a dish cooked with red wine, such as the Consuming Passions chicken in a red wine sauce, loosely based on the French coq au vin. And I start with the wine. The best part of two thirds of a bottle of good red wine is poured into a non-reactive pot. That is one that won't react with the acid in the wine. Of course, all wines are acidic. The best sort of pot for this will be enameled or stainless steel, preferably not aluminium, which will react with the wine. Now I add some carrots, roughly chopped, two or three, some celery, one stick chopped, a couple of cloves of garlic, whole and unpeeled, and some parsley, a couple of sprigs, half a dozen peppercorns, and a couple of bay leaves. This is now brought to the boil and then gently simmered to reduce by about half of its volume. Now, in another pan, I put some oil and over medium heat brown some chicken pieces. These have just been seasoned with a little salt and pepper. They're actually cut up Maryland pieces, thigh and drumstick. And I do leave the skin on for this particular recipe. Now, it doesn't matter if the skin comes away from the meat, but you could do this in a non-stick pan if you wanted the skin to stay nicely on the meat. They're turned over once only and then removed. Now, in the same pan, in the same oil, I put some bacon pieces, a few chopped up rashers, some chopped onion, and some small mushrooms. They cook for two or three minutes, and then I sprinkle in a little flour still stirring well. And I gently add warmed chicken stock and the reduced wine mixture, straining it as I do. The chicken pieces now go in. A final optional extra, if you have them, a few roasted onions, small tasty ones. The lid goes on, the heat's turned down, and this all simmers very gently for around 45 minutes. Degree of difficulty, low to medium. Preparation time, about 40 minutes, plus the cooking. Keepability, keeps two or three days in the refrigerator and I think improves with age, just like a good wine. Time to serve one last thing. I stir through some parsley and then start plating up the dish. Now, because this is a rich dish, I like to use plenty of vegetables. I start with a mound of mashed potatoes, on to go a couple of those delicious pieces of chicken, possibly some broccoli, why not some sugar snap peas, and then the sauce with the onions, the mushrooms, and the bacon pieces. Absolutely fantastic. And the appropriate wine, of course, will be some of the Shiraz Cabernet used in the cooking. Chicken in a red wine sauce. From consuming passions, till next time, bon appetit. Where to start?